Welcome to Cell Tech. Today we're going to talk about VertiCell, an earth retention system. VertiCell comes in a collapsed form. It has four units per bundle. When expanded, VertiCell is 32 inches deep, 6 inches high by 14 feet long. That'll give you 7 square feet per unit. VertiCell has a solid face. This holds the soil in place for the plants to grow. The rest are perforated and they're buried into the earth. Alright, step one. You need to flatten off the area and make sure you get to virgin soil. We are going to backfill this with solid soil, so we're going to use a geo grid instead of a geotextile fabric. This will allow for the roots to grow continuously into the hillside. And all retaining walls should have a relief pipe. This is a pipe that will take excess water and relieve hydrostatic pressure. And make sure you use a perforated pipe and wrap it in filter fabric. Now we are ready to lay out our verticel and connect each piece. I will cut off the excess piece one inch away from weld. I will set each weld over top of each other, clamp them together, and drill two holes one inch away from the top and one inch away from the bottom. Then when I expand each piece, the holes will line up for my quick clips. A quick clip is a plastic rivet. We use these because they do not rot or rust. You put it through the hole, line it up, add the back, squeeze it together. Connecting end to end gives you a continuous cell. For expansion, we use rebar. These are bent tools to hold the cell open so we can infill it and line it up. We're going to infill the front and back cell by hand. This is so we can adjust and line up. Using a machine at this time might move the cell and you'd have to pull it apart and do it again. Once you have the front and back cell filled, you can remove the rebar. Then use the rebar and cells that you haven't filled yet. A crew should have about 15 to 30 of these. It makes for speedy installation. Once all the front and back cells are filled, you are ready to infill the center. Now you compact. Compaction is important. The better you compact, the stronger the structural integrity of the entire job is. Once compaction is finished, you'll scrape off the excess back down to the top of the cell and repeat the process over and over again. Every four or five courses, you can add another drain. You continue this process until you reach your height you need to be. This product should not exceed any more than 10 feet. Some walls need engineering. You should check with your counties. All verticel walls need to be planted when finished. You will need to look in your local region and find out your plant zones and pick plants accordingly. So verticel can be used in a number of situations. When planted, the walls tend to disappear and your vegetated state takes over. This protects the UV and makes them last 20, 30 years plus. Celltech thanks you and for watching our videos and learning about cellular confinement systems. It is the one of the least inexpensive eco-friendly systems on the market. I hope you enjoyed Verticel. Thanks again.